What is up dudes? Welcome back. This is of course Aprilia AI and today we're going to be looking into this pretty rad AI application called WebSim which I was supposed to talk about yesterday but the Runway ML update came out so I did a video on that instead. But today we are going to be talking about WebSim which is a pretty revolutionary AI project. It's using Claude and ChatGPT on the background and what it basically allows you to do is generate your own websites and people have done many many different things as you can see here and believe it or not a lot of these are generated under a one minute and to me it's mind baffling in terms of the accuracy that it's basically able to do and all types of different things so there has been sound applications and games So that's one example, okay. So that was a pretty interesting one. A lot of these have like a, some type of slider which can basically do adjustments here. So this one also was pretty impressive. Somebody did a basically a Minecraft world where you can basically move with WASD. This is actually fully 3D. And this is like very mind boggling to me, the idea that somebody is able to basically do 3D on applications. Like one thing to have a 2D thing but to have a 3D is um, very impressive in my opinion. So that's another one. And I guess these are like more like proof of concept. There are some useful things that you can do. You can do an Excel sheet and it's basically able to do, well, anything, anything with that. And actually I was thinking to basically uh, do a ping pong game, but let's try this one out. Okay, which one I'm moving here? Can I move with WASD? Okay, I can't. Okay, this actually works, and that's just crazy. Okay, this that, <laughs> that's a bit glitching there, but okay. Well, this is so weird to control with your mouse on up and down. Ooh, okay. And it's even showing you the score. So that's, wow. And this is just like, I mean, it seemed like there's a lot of like weird ideas here, and you can't exactly make money with these or anything. But the idea, like, just showing you the proof of concept, a word that I keep repeating a lot of these videos recently, is that there are a lot of things which have been, you know, able to be done here. Let's say we can, like, uh, generate... Let's see, it's basically able to that. And there's no limitations, by the way, on how many uh, you can generate right now. There's no credit-based systems. Like, you're able to do anything as of right now. And let's see how this basically is working out. Some of them don't turn out to be good as other ones, and that's why there's a ranking system. Okay, it's still loading, probably. But as you can see, okay, here we go. Now it's it's doing chess. No, this is Minesweeper. This is Minesweeper. And it's a chess board like we asked. Wow. Game over, you hit a mine. Okay. So there's a there's the chess. Level. Wow, this is like really impressive in my opinion. And it's just like the way it's accurate too. It's not just that I have this um idea. It's also like really in there I just expected to just do the minesweeper maybe. But the idea that it was able to integrate the chess art style to it, to me, is very impressive. So there's clearly uh, a way to, to do things here. And a lot of people have done, well, many, many different things here. There's a ranking list for month and things like that. I don't know if it can able to do, like, how much, like... The, it, the problem maybe here is that there isn't necessarily a lot of, like ways to edit these things so there's not enough parameters and maybe like post editing post processing and i don't know like where it's where it is like getting that music from is it is it generating the music too or is it just pulling it out from some open source library but to me that's like crazy that's crazy um let's see this search system can people actually um Let's see, Black Myth, can you can basically find anything uh, regarding this. Imagine that there would be a search engine being born out of um, AI thing. So let's see the actual accuracy. It can, it can basically produce anything here of, okay. 
he, he, he apparently can find a game that I'm actually looking about. What, what if I click these things? Does it actually take me anywhere? Okay. Mm, interesting, interesting. So I don't really have much else to add here. I mean, you can basically also favorite your own things. They also have a Twitter, Discord, and Reddit communities. People have done a lot of different things here. And it's, it's just very impressive. Um, I don't know if it can do every single uh, thing here. We can do like a roller coaster. And it's, it's, it's funny to see so much like variables existing. And just the idea that's able to generate all of these just like within a minute or 30 seconds. And I keep I keep reading that, but it's just like, I'm amazed by that. And imagine how an application like this will look in five years or three years. It's, it's also gonna be interesting, but I would love to see a lot more what is happening under the hood. And is this gonna be popular? Are people gonna play around with it? Or what exactly they're gonna be doing? Let me also do like an arcade, arcade racing game. 2.5 D so let's see if it can basically do something like that but yes and yeah and there's no regional restrictions guys you just need to basically log in with your Google account and anybody can just start playing around uh, with the actual uh, web sim thing okay here we go start game okay this is not maybe I should have specified um, yeah so you have to wait for the loading bar to go into the end until it can basically do things and apparently you can download these things as well Okay, um, how do how I'm moving? Okay, we are, here we are moving. Okay, this is not exactly a racing game. I don't. I mean, it's kind of like doing the two point five D, but this is not, not very impressive. What happens if I actually? It's not really moving really well, but maybe that's the car car system. Okay, game over. But that's basically what I have to share with you guys. I think <laughs> you know if you have some recommendations for good web sims which have been created to this, what is your most impressive thing that you have been able to find out uh, with this AI tool right now? Leave a comment down below and let me know. But guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more cool AI stuff on the channel. And I will be seeing you next time on the next video. Cheers.